Hi friends, this is Mark with StorageCraft Support. Today we're going to cover the Advanced tab in StorageCraft's SPX software. There are many options you can choose to refine your backup job. The options you choose should be based on the requirements for your client. The first option in the performance section is throttling. This option allows you to set how much of the system resources will be dedicated to a backup job. This can be a very useful option on systems with limited processing power. Next we have Save Volume Free Space in Backup Images. This option is not normally used as it increases the size of backup files. The backup will contain all of the sectors of a volume rather than just the used data. It is mainly used in a forensic application. For example, if you need to recover deleted files from a backup image file, saving the free space would allow for recovery utilities to restore deleted files from backup images even without having the physical disk. Finally, we have ignore read failures during backup. Backups will fail when disk sectors are damaged. This option should only be selected when you know there are issues on the source disk and you want to capture any data you can before it fails. This option should not be selected under normal circumstances. If there are bad blocks on the source volume and this option is selected, the backups will continue to run and you may not realize it until it's too late. Any unreadable sector is replaced with a zero in the data of the backup image. Next is scripts. Command scripts or batch files are very useful when backing up volumes housing non-VSS aware databases. One example would be QuickBooks. You will need to write a script that will stop the database program service and point it in the pre-snapshot script line. Then write another script restarting the service pointing to the post-snapshot script line. Once the snapshot is completed, normal database operations can resume. You can also configure scripts to run before the backup and after the backup finishes. We recommend using the pre- and post-snapshot scripts in this scenario rather than the start job and finish job options as the snapshot will take much less time. This will reduce the impact of the backup on the database application. Make sure all scripts used in a job are placed in the path shown in this section. The next section is Images. The first option is Save Volume Images Concurrently. This option will enable you to back up multiple volumes and write to the destination at the same time. This option should only be used in high-performance environments where the source and destination systems have the ability to handle very high disk loads. The next option is immediately run missed backup on restart. This instructs SPX to execute a backup immediately after a reboot if a scheduled backup was missed or unsuccessful. However, this may be undesirable on certain servers after a system crash. For example, if a database repair operation is taking place or if a strict schedule is needed for backup operations. Next we have Use Write Cache when saving images. This option is disabled by default since the SPX streaming write mode is generally faster for most destination drives. By checking this option, Windows will cache the data flow so it can retry write operations. This can be useful when writing to certain busy network destinations and drives, and may help resolve issues with long network backup times. Finally, we have split image files into smaller files. If you need to break up large image files to store on writable media, this option is not used often as most backups are too large to effectively be written to DVDs or even Blu-ray discs. Our next section is retention. This option allows you to manage how long backups are kept if not using a continuous incremental job. This option is very important to manage the amount of space used at your destination when using non-continuous jobs. If you do not have retention set to run here or image manager with a continuous job, eventually your destination will fill up completely. The default option is to keep all images. When you select keep only recent images, the options will unlock. The default retained image sets is three. This means three most recent base images and dependent incremental files will be kept. This may need to be adjusted depending on the storage capacity of your destination and the size of the source volumes. Selecting the keep all full backups, delete only incrementals is generally not best practice. This means base images will never be deleted by retention automatically, eventually leading to a full destination. 
The last option is perform deletions before a full backup. This option will force the oldest backup set to delete before the next backup is captured. This option is useful when the destination used doesn't have enough space free to write the next backup image. Our last section is the VSS Writers. SPX leverages Microsoft's Volume Shadow Copy Service, or VSS, to capture the state of a volume before the backup is written. This section allows you to disable certain VSS writers that would otherwise be called as part of the backup process. This should only be used for troubleshooting purposes or if you have specific requirements for VSS. Consult with your system administrator before disabling any writers. That covers the different advanced options in StorageCraft's SPX software. If you found this information useful, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For additional in-depth training and certifications, please log in to academy.storagecraft.com and don't forget to have a great day.